Hi. Um, <clears throat> that was a very interesting video. I think when I thought about videoing while walking, uh, that's not quite what I had in mind. <laughs> Just walking around a house again and again and again and again. Um, you're interesting. But what I was thinking was, um, maybe I would make some notes on things that I was looking at and thinking about during the day, and then I could kind of discuss them as interesting things. Um, so I took some little notes, and I thought that I'd have a little chat with you about some things that have been interesting to me. And the first note that I have is um, magazines. I was looking for a new magazine or multiple magazines to try because there are so many different ones coming out. Um, I actually thought, well, I'm a little bit tired of Marie Claire, even though they did do some really good journalism work. I'm not really down with all of their huge fashion ads and style shoots and all that sort of thing that doesn't really resonate with me and I'm a bit over Collective Magazine which is a magazine um, originated in Australia for entrepreneurs which is quite interesting at times but also it is a, a lot about people starting up businesses and um, you know motivational kind of pieces and it didn't really fit me either uh, and I remembered that um, a long time ago I had occasionally read a, a magazine called Yen um, there was Yen and Frankie and Frankie never really um, gelled with me either it was a bit more sort of crafty um, you know recipes and making a quilt and I don't know it wasn't really my kind of thing um, but there was one called Yen which I remember was pretty interesting and uh, so I went to the Yen website and they had just published their last ever issue and so I went on the Mag Nation website which Mag Nation is a magazine store in the city that um, I don't know they have more than one store but they are just chock-a-block two floors with all these magazines from all over the world and there's always really interesting things when I go in there um, <clears throat> but these days I don't I can't really get into the, the store in the city but I can browse the website and so they have their kind of best sellers section and um, and so I was browsing through the best sellers and there were so many interesting things there that I had never heard of before. Um, there was one magazine called Siren that was for lovers of the sea and every single piece in it was somehow related to the sea and loving the sea, whether it was surfing or talking about solo sailing or talking a, a poem about the ocean and it's printed on sea algae, I believe. Um, so I ordered a couple just to sort of test them out. So one is called Slow Magazine, which is by the makers of Frankie Magazine. And it's about enjoying a slow life, um, you yeah, know, enjoying, appreciating life, enjoying the little things, um, taking it easy, that sort of stuff. I thought that would be a bit interesting and it, it is. Um, I don't think I'll subscribe to it, but it was interesting. And I bought another one called Off Screen, um, which also has a really interesting email newsletter, Off Screen newsletter, um, <clears throat> talking about sort of tech, but the off screen side of tech. So, um, you know, it might be a gadget that you can use in your house, or it might be here is a interview with some people who have crafted something in the tech world that you might be familiar with but um, 
the interview isn't necessarily precisely about that thing. Um, but I don't think I'll be subscribing to that one either. So um, I've kind of used up my um, fun budget, <laughs> I guess, for this month of August. So I've set a reminder in September to have a look at the other magazines that I've kind of bookmarked and maybe try a couple of other ones. Um, <clears throat> what else have I done? Oh, I was looking, um, I was browsing Kotki one day and I came across the IKEA sofa, sorry, the IKEA ASMR video, which I had never come across ASMR before. So that was interesting. I was wondering if you had come across that. Um, I will link to that IKEA one. My third thing is that I finished reading a book about money. So I was reading The Barefoot Investor. I learned some things. I was already doing some things, like I was already banking with the organizations that he sort of recommended, the um, financial wise guy who wrote the book. But there were some things that I weren't doing, so I hadn't really sort of calculated as a percentage of our household income, what part was going to sort of bills and then what part was going to sort of fun goals like having a holiday and then what percentage was going to more long-term goals like um, paying off mortgage faster or three months of wages as an emergency. There, so there are still some things that I, I've kind of made a note that I need to um, follow through on and some of them I've changed already, like I changed my health insurance provider and we're probably going to ch change our superannuation provider based on some advice in the book. And I ended up actually gifting the book to a couple of my friends. So I just thought it's not something that we get taught much about in high school, not necessarily something that you talk about a lot with your family, like how to manage money or sensible things to do slash wise things to do with money so I thought I think this is pretty good pretty good knowledge I just watched back on my video so far and I see that there are several things that I need to change <laughs> I haven't made a video in so long so one thing is I look away way too much instead of actually speaking to you um, another thing is it was kind of up close and up my nose so <clears throat> this is maybe a better perspective and my hair is wild but I do not care about that and the other thing was my favorite number is four so I want to add in a fourth thing <laughs> my fourth thing is oh yes I would like to talk to you about a TV show and I don't know if you've watched it but I think you would really enjoy it it's called abstract it's on Netflix and it's about designers I might have mentioned it on my blog so maybe this is like boring to you because you've already seen me recommend it I apologize the first episode was about an illustrator who I'd never heard of I loved the episode so much watching him at work seeing how he gave input into the episode as to how they, um, they like there were these kind of meta moments of hey, uh, we think that maybe at this point it would be good to show you at home cleaning your teeth or with your family and that you sort of hear his voice um, over a shot of something else entirely like a cartoon man that he had created walking across the screen going nah, uh, uh, sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> and he would be saying, yeah, no, I don't want to show something like cleaning my teeth. That's not going to happen. So it had these kind of in, in the TV series, they're obviously getting input from the people on how they might want to portray their stories or do you think that you could do a little um, illustration for this bit to show this or whatever. And I can't remember exactly the order of the episodes and I'm only about to, up to like number five, but one was about a shoe designer and then there was a car designer that I actually didn't watch because I wasn't I will probably go back and watch it because you never know like even if you think it's something boring if it's a good series then it might actually be a quite 
you might find, I might find something really interesting in the episode. Then there was a graphic designer who has done logos and branding for the most amazing companies around the world. Uh, yeah, really striking stuff, like very, very famous woman who I actually didn't know because I've never been um, very immersed in the design world. Really good show. Watch it. Four things. Yeah. Sorry. Can I just add a PS? Um, I loved your video. Thank you so much. And I actually laughed a lot, probably. <laughs> even though you didn't mean for me to. And I, would, I have so much scrappy stuff on my YouTube channel, like from the past, that I was wondering if maybe we could have um, a new place, a fresh start for this. And I'm hoping that if maybe I do one of these a week, I will actually get better at it and learn more things about how to edit videos, because all of that is new to me. I had sort of thought interest thing <laughs> uh, like the word interesting but then the word thing you just put an H in the word interest and, and then I found out that that's kind of taken of course it is and then I was like four interesting things and then I was like um, interestingness that's where I've landed up is interestingness interestingness 101 something like that if you have any ideas or if you'd be okay with the idea of a place where we could put our videos that it kind of feels like a 